What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Man Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally, when it comes to Mac OS 12, we now have Mac OS 12.2. The version that you are seeing here is actually the release candidate version. And you can see that here I'm actually on the developer beta. Apple did something unusual today. They actually released the public beta as well instead of releasing it on the next day. So that is something that you can always do and update to whether you are on the developer or the public beta. So if I click on the more info tab here, you can see that I have Mac OS 12.2 and the version is 12.2 and the update sizes you can see is 1.71 gigs. Now I'm actually updating for Mac OS 12.2 to the first beta the second beta i didn't bother because i didn't see a need to and now let's quickly update this to mac os 12.2 and then we'll be able to see the new features and new changes as there's quite a bit that i would want to share with you but in the meantime this is not all that apple released today if we go here on the apple developer page you can see some other updates that apple released today besides mac os 12.2 rc of course so here apple released ios as well as ipad os 15.3 release candidate they also released watch os 8.4 release candidate and they also released tvOS 15.3 release candidate. Now, all these updates came out today and here at Halfman Half Tech, I actually cover a lot of Apple software updates such as these. And if that's something that interests you and you wanna keep up to date with what's changing and what's new and also new features and changes, then a sub to the channel would definitely be appreciated. Now, I've already updated my Mac as you can see here. If I go into the system preferences, and go to software update you can see that your mac is up to date mac os 12.2 and if we click here to see about this mac to see the new build number that came with this update we have to click where it says version here and then the build number will show up so you can see the build number 21d48 so that's the build number that we have in terms of storage that's being taken up by this update you can see that mac os or system storage is taken up 16.91 gigs so that's that's as far as the software changes go when it comes to this Mac OS 12.2. Now let's talk about the new features and changes. There's actually a bit that I noticed coming from Mac OS 12.1. So the first change that's here that wasn't working on Mac OS 12.1 is legacy contacts. So Mac OS 12.1 actually had legacy contacts, but you couldn't actually use it. So the way you access your legacy contacts, you have to go into your system preferences, which I am here click on your apple id and then click where it says name and password right here and once you give it a moment to show up for some reason mine seems to be taking long so i i was actually checking to see memory leak information here could be the reason why it's slowing down a bit but you can see here that you have this legacy contact so if you click where it says manage now mind you that on the previous Mac OS 12.1, this you couldn't really interact with this, but with 12.2, you can actually click manage and you can add a legacy contact. And the moment you click add, you can see a splash screen that tells you all about the legacy contacts. You can uh, skip it or you can add a legacy contact now. So before for me on my Mac, I couldn't use this, but here, this is something that is usable and that is something that's great. Now, when it comes to promotion for safari i'll be happy to let you know that if you have a newer mac so the new macbook pros that came out with 120 hertz or promotion display now with this mac os 12.2 you get a fluid and sort of better display it definitely better than what we had on mac os 12.1 that was sometimes dropping frames or even reducing so if you are having issues still once once you've updated to mac os 12.2 what i would advise you to do is go into your system preferences and go to your battery and then go to where it says battery right there and if you have low power mode checked on like this uncheck low power mode just like this and then if if you want, you can 
power cycle your Mac and you'll be able to see how this affects your Mac in terms of browsing. And for a lot of users, they are actually happy with the scrolling and the motion as well as the refresh rate that they are getting when it comes to their displays and to be specific when it comes to safari now there's also been an update to the safari version that came with this update so previously on the previous beta that was on on mac os 12.2 the version that i had was actually dot four dot two dot one so you can see here that it's been updated and the version that i have here as you can see is actually 15.3 and the build you can see is 17.612.4.9.1.5 so before dot four dot two dot one and now dot four dot nine dot one dot five so they've updated from the dot nine onwards and that is something that good hopefully this means that some of the bugs and promotion issues and so on that you're experiencing were resolved with this issue now the next thing that i want to show you that came with this update we we'll just click play here and so that you can see what i'm referring to you can see the mouse or the cursor goes from the ipad to the mac and that is basically what is universal control so universal control will allow you to use a single keyboard and mouse uh, between your ipad and your mac and you can see here that when it comes to this apple beta page it actually still says that this is coming or available in the spring now for me if i was to go into my system preferences sometimes it does show up when i don't have a secondary monitor connected but you can see here if i go to my display section i don't have a section where i can click advance i know some people were able to see this on mac os 12.2 i believe beta 3 zolotech did see the settings but for me even though i disconnected my secondary monitor that you are seeing here the ben qlt 2020t so you can see i did disconnect it but i didn't see the uh, external display or the advanced rather i didn't see the advanced settings so for me still on my macbook pro that i'm using i still don't have the toggle to use or interact with universal control so like the website says it seems like this is something that's coming or going to be available in the fall so we might have another series of beta updates before we can actually be able to enjoy this update so that's something that uh, i th i just thought i should update you with this so when it comes to the music app instead of of using webkit it's now going to be completely native by means of app kit so when the music app was actually rebranded so i don't know if you recall but when mac os catalina was released then uh, the itunes that we had was rebranded to uh, the music app that you see here and basically when the music app switched from itunes to this music app that we have today it was a bunch of web content loaded into an app so sometimes you'd find that if you visit different pages like artists albums and songs and click on a specific function since that had to launch a separate app behind the always somewhere the function of it wasn't as fluid as normal so finally it's going to be switching to app kit which is native to mac os and this is going to mean like better transition and fluid when you know scrolling around as you can see for me it's actually not too bad and for people that were using older macs that don't support support mac os monterey they would actually be able to see the delay and also the slowness of using the music app which is not native i'm not sure if apple is going to release something uh, fully for all the devices but it's something that i thought i should let you know and also when it comes to the apple tv app it's also going to get the native interface framework so it's not just the music app that's going to be updated and by the way if you didn't know we actually have a store that was added from a previous update here when it comes to the apple tv app so that is something that's good now i want to bring your attention to audio devices so if you use audio devices or services that support dolby atmos you can actually visit the site and you'll be able to hear what it sounds like and if you're using a service that supports this or 
a peripheral device, you now have better and richer elements when it comes to Mac OS 12.2. So it seems like software wise in terms of sound engineering, they're doing something that is correct. Now, there's a new pop up that showed up when I initially updated to Mac OS 12.2 to the first beta although it didn't actually show up on the second beta it just says that you know the we are optimizing your mac and this might sort of affect performance if you want to see that you can always go to my mac os 12.2 the first beta but for now this update didn't actually show that so that is something also that I thought I should bring to your attention. Now, when it comes to some of the bugs or issues that have been resolved with this update, the first one that I'll bring, I would like to bring to your attention has to do with Safari. So Safari is getting better and better. Seems like, you know, promotion, but also when it comes to the WebKit Safari 15 indexed DB bug or database leak that uh, was showing up before it seems like it's no longer showing up with this update so could be something that is going to be resolved fully when this update comes out and with the the release candidate you can see that you know it's not something that's mentioned so could be something or a thing of the past also something that i wanted to bring to your attention has to do with some of the bugs that were not uh, addressed so like you saw i actually had system information trying to see whether you know i could uh, find anything that has been resolved when it comes to like memory leak and so on so i did try and use my activity monitor just to see whether i'll be able to see anything but apple didn't mention anything when it comes to memory leak and usage of applications so that is something that you have to see on your own and also if you are experiencing wi-fi issues or connectivity issues with this update apple hasn't mentioned anything as well and also the use of trackpad and some peripheral pad that aren't being responsive apple has also not mentioned anything when it comes to this update so hopefully we'll get more clarity when this update comes out but other than that this is how mac os 12.2 came out on my mac in terms of when to expect it now i know that mac os 11.2 actually came out on the first week of february so let me pull up my calendar here so mac os 12 points uh mac os 11.2 came out on this day but i have a high hopes or high feeling that when it comes to mac os 12.2 we are going to see the official version released to the public here between the 25th to the 27th of january so keep an eye on it and as soon as it comes out i'll be able to update you here on the channel now other than that that's about it for me when it comes to mac os 12.2 if you like this video and would like to support the channel definitely subscribe and i will definitely see you in the next video cheers